Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2019 Buick Regal Sportback Essence, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The 2019 Buick Regal Sportback is a solution to an interesting problem. More people are buying SUVs than ever before, but some people still prefer sedans. The Regal Sportback's hatchback design addresses this need while implementing a sleek roof line and improving on the traditional three-box shape of the sedan. Powering the 2019 Buick Regal Sportback is a turbocharged 2-liter four-cylinder engine that produces 250 horsepower and either 260 pound-feet of torque in front-wheel drive or 295 pound-feet of torque in all-wheel drive configuration. Front-wheel drive models use a 9-speed automatic transmission and all-wheel drive versions come with an 8-speed automatic transmission. The interior of the 2019 Buick Regal Sportback is quiet and the seating position is ideal for long stints in the saddle. With available Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration, Along with a 4G LTE-powered Wi-Fi hotspot and three USB charging outlets, you and your passengers can spend the miles thoroughly entertained. Let's talk configurations for the 2019 Buick Regal Sportback. It's available in six trim levels. The base model is called the 1SV. The next level up is called the Preferred. And then there's the Preferred 2. After that, you have the Essence, which we're going to do a build and price review on today. There's also the upscale luxury version, Avenir. And then there's also the performance version, GS, which they don't show on this page because they have a whole page all by itself individually dedicated to just the GS. So it does exist. It's just not shown here. It's true that the base model and the preferred are attractively priced, but they don't come with a ton of features. So you'll need to upgrade to a more expensive trim for more premium comfort and safety features, right? Most of these Regal Sportbacks come with a four-cylinder engine with the exception of the GS, which is not shown. It has a V6 engine that makes 310 horsepower, if you're wondering. But I like the Essence. I chose the Essence because, well, it has a starting price of $31,770, which really is just a little bit more. It's really just $2,000 more than the preferred two. But you get, you get the... Um, Standard leather appointed front and rear seats. And I'm real big on leather. If you watch this channel, you know that. If you don't watch this channel, you should subscribe. Let's take a look at the gallery uh, for our 2019 Buick Regal Sportback. There's going to be interior photos and exterior photos. They're going to be showing a variety of trim levels. And they won't just be showing our Essence trim level. They'll probably show them all. Um, and so, yeah, we get to see their LED headlight design, which looks nice. Uh, the front grille looks very nice. The Buick is a nice car. I, we can actually see the Buick Regal GS in the back. I can just tell. We can see the big openings down here at the bottom. Uh, here they're showing uh, another shot of it with that hatchback design. Doesn't look bad at all. Looks like a sedan until you pop the trunk, really. Here's a nice shot of the taillights. Another shot of the front end. Here's a nice shot of the interior. Here they're showing you some utility with the fold-down uh, second-row seats. They look like they fold almost flat. Here, we've got a nice shot of this leather-wrapped steering wheel, and I see a digital speedometer in here. Another thing I love is digital speedometers and heads-up displays, and so I'm happy to see that the Buick Regal uh, Sportback Essence has that. And then it also has regular analog gauges here I can see as well. Uh, and this steering wheel looks to be a multifunction steering wheel, so you've got all kinds of voice and audio controls and... And all that there, your cruise control, if it's so equipped. Here's a better shot of the interior, looking quite nice. Here's an up-close shot of the uh, interior seat, so we can see the contrast stitching. They try to add a little attention to detail, make it a little upscale. Looks like the front seat, at least this is probably surely at least the driver's seat, is a two-person memory seat. So you've got, you can have savior position, seating positions for two people. Here they're showing a sunroof. I'm going to assume that it's probably optional and not standard. Um, and yeah, looks like we're right back to the beginning. So let's move on. Actually, let's go check the exterior colors. Right, so we can check the exterior colors for our 2019 Buick Regal Sportback Essence. We can get it in dark moon blue metallic. 
we can have it in Rioja Red Metallic, Quicksilver Metallic, which kind of looks nice. I like that. There is a Summit White. There's also an Ebony Twilight, which is black. There's a White Frost Tint Coat, which I really like that a lot. That'll surely be an upgrade. And then there's the Smoked Pearl Metallic Paint. So it looks to be what? There is one, two, three, four, five. There's seven color com uh, exterior colors that we can get on our 2019 Buick Regal Sportback Essence. Okay, we've gone over the overview. We've looked at the exterior colors. We've uh, gone over and talked about the different configurations that you can get the Buick Regal Essence or Buick Regal Sport back in. Now let's talk about features. There are several categories of features. There's exterior features, interior features, safety, connectivity, and performance features. So we got five categories of features to get through. These pages aren't very long. Let's go through, learn about all the features of our 2019 Buick Regal Sportback Essence, and then we will do the build-in price. The most notable exterior feature, of course, is the sport back opening. It's right in the name of the vehicle. It says when combined with certain seating configurations, the sport back rear access allows you to load cargo of various shapes and sizes. So with rear seats folded, you can get 60.7 cubic feet. If the second row seats are up, then that's going to cut that basically almost in half to 31.5 cubic, uh, cubic feet of cargo space in the back. Here are some other notable exterior features for our 2019 Buick Regal uh, Sportback Essence. The LED headlamps, they're available. They're optional LED headlamps. They do not come standard. But probably at our trim level, if they don't come standard, we can probably option them in. These are available LED uh, headlamps with cornering and auto leveling feature. Right, That's pretty nice. Then, like I said, in here in the middle, that power moonroof, that was an available. It's an option. Available power moonroof, uh, yeah, that's nice. And then they're talking about the distinctive styling. And they're talking about the LED accented tail lamps. Also, the 2019 Buick Regal Sportback has unique wheel designs. Now, surely there are going to be different wheels per configuration. So that does not mean that, say, our, our Essence trim level can be optioned with all these wheels. That won't be how that works. But each trim level probably has its own unique wheel design is probably what they mean. Nonetheless, it's nice that there's some variety with the wheels. Okay, we got through the exterior features of the 2019 Buick Regal uh, Sportback. Let's talk about the interior features. Uh, the interior is where you're going to spend a lot more of your time. And for Buick and this Regal Sportback, it seems to be about the details. With available heated, leather-appointed front seats... Uh, Available ambient lighting and a host of other amenities. The Regal Sportback is masterfully crafted to put you instantly at ease. It's a very nice vehicle. It's very, very nice. I like it a lot. I like Buick products, however. I'm actually going to put a link up to my Buick playlist because I've done quite a few Buicks, especially of all the 2018s. I did a lot of 2018 Buicks. And so, yeah, I'm going to put my uh, a link up to that playlist right now. Other and notable interior features are that is the cargo versatility. We kind of learned about that already. And that maximum 60.7 uh, cubic feet of available cargo space. What we didn't learn about is this quiet tuning technology. Uh, this uses triple door ceiling, acoustic laminated glass uh, in the windshield and front windows, specific suspension tuning, and many other measures to help reduce, block, and absorb unwanted noise from an incredibly for an incredibly quiet driving experience. Sounds nice. Other interior features, right? The leather appointed seats, they already talked about that, but they call that French contrasting stitching is what this is. Uh, that gives that uh, elevated sense of elevated craftsmanship in the interior. And then there's an air ionizer, like an air fragrancer uh, that helps reduce, uh, that helps keep the air in your cabin fresh by reducing pollen, dust, and debris. There are the driver's seat is available with integrated memory feature, right? Like we saw that in the other photo. So there's a two-person memory feature. And then uh, there's an available heated leather-wrapped steering wheel. Now, surely our uh, 2019 Buick Regal Sportback Essence trim level should have this heated steering wheel. All right, let's talk safety features for our 2019 Buick Regal Sportback Essence. Uh, there is an available innovative suite of active safety features now 
I'm not sure if our Essence trim level is going to come with these said safety features. If not, and it's an available package, we're certainly going to get it because I'm real big on these. new. That's part of the thing with new cars is all the awesome tech that they have. And so it seems kind of pointless, to, not pointless, but seems uh, like you're missing something. If you don't get a new car, if you buy a new car and you don't get at least some of the available options, such as the safety equipment, if it's not an arm and a leg. And it certainly won't be for this Regal if we have to even get it as an option. There's an available lane keep assist with lane departure warning. And this is, like I said, this is these are active systems. So this system can provide gentle steering wheel turns to help you avoid unintentionally drifting out of your lane. And it can also provide lane departure warnings if needed. Let's see, there's also front pedestrian braking. It, again, these are all available features. These are options. Uh, available front pedestrian braking. And if, if a collision is imminent and you haven't already applied the brakes, audio and visual alerts are triggered and the brakes are automatically applied. Right? I like the active systems. I, I think it's great that there's safety systems just in general, but the ones that just will beep and alert you, that's great. But what if you miss all that? I think it's really great that we can prevent an accident altogether, not just alert us to we're about to hit something. There is the available lane change alert with side blind zone alert. Uh, this helps to avoid a moving vehicle detected in your blind spot, right? You know how this works. And so this is going to light up if there's a vehicle sitting back there in your blind spot. So you'll know without even having to make a head check. There's also a forward collision alert. And there's also rear cross traffic alert. Rear cross traffic alert, I love this feature. You know, you're backing out at the grocery store or some big shopping mall. Cars are going uh, back and forth. And maybe you have big vehicles on the side so you can't really see. you got to really stick the back of your car way out. It's dangerous. Rear cross traffic alert is going to alert you. It's paying attention to those cars that are coming from the sides. That's really cool. And then obviously for collision alert is really, really nice, right? If it thinks that there's going to be a, a, a crash is imminent, uh, it can, uh, it, what will this do? It will alert you to a potential crash. It can also alert you if you're following a potential, uh, detected vehicle much too closely. So it's not this particular system, this four collision alert isn't going to apply any brakes, uh, but it's just going to alert you. Uh, I guess that's kind of cool. Uh, I can see how that's helpful. I do like the systems that are active and will ultimately apply the brakes but not on the Buick Regal. Apparently, that's not an option. OnStar is a General Motors product that has been around for as long as I can remember. Uh, with available OnStar by your side, you'll feel confident and ready for the road ahead. Available features such as automatic crash response, emergency services, and roadside assistance. So uh, that's OnStar, and that's going to be... It's an available feature, right? It's not even standard. It's an available feature for our Buick Regal uh, Sportback. Okay, we've gotten through safety, interior, and exterior. Now let's talk about connectivity. Let's talk about our tech. All right, we're going to talk about tech, and then we'll get through the performance, and then we'll go and do our build-in price. Of course, here's the next-generation Buick infotainment. It's got the OnStar connected navigation, enhanced navigation interface, and even a personal profile where you can set up the infotainment system to your liking and take many of your preferences uh, with you to uh, other GM vehicles equipped with the same system wow that's really interesting if you're one that traveled a lot for instance and rented did car rentals and say you got a lot of new gm car rentals or something or buick car rentals boy if you could do your profile you could always have your music and all your presets always ready to go that would be cool other notable features there's a built-in wi-fi hotspot uh, where you could support up to seven devices and there's also wireless charging that's an available feature as is the built-in Wi-Fi hotspot. Like I said, those lower trim levels don't come with a lot. So yeah, there's a lot of available features, not standard. Then of course, there's Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So you can make phone calls. You can do Apple Maps, send and receive messages. Same setup with Android Auto, except you're going to use Google Maps, you know, and Google Play for your music. Uh, very cool stuff. Looks like we can get an upgraded Bose premium audio system that has eight speakers. And then there's this My Buick app that lets you perform a number of vehicle functions right from your mobile device. You can start and stop your engine, lock and unlock the doors, check tire pressure. 
and get real-time diagnostics from almost anywhere on about your vehicle. Then they're talking about this Buick Connective Services. And what do you do? Uh, this is 10 years of standard connectivity, which enables services as Buick Smart Driver, vehicle diagnostics, and no extra cost. Okay, let's talk performance for our 2019 Buick Regal Sportback Essence. We already know it makes 250 horsepower, and we know that depending on whether you get it in all-wheel drive or front-wheel drive, it's going to put out a different amount of torque. Here they're going to tell us about the all-wheel drive system, an intelligent all-wheel drive system with active twin clutch sends power to the wheel or wheels with the most grip in slippery weather conditions and helps improve cornering and acceleration on dry roads. It's what I've always said. All-wheel drive is not just for adverse weather conditions. It also improves performance in the dry, on dry roads. Well, we know one thing that we know that the Buick, that they're trying to make this car sporty. How do we know that? Because it says five-link rear suspension. Now, there are, I'm sure not every five-link rear suspension is created equally, but what I do know is that when we start talking about cars that handle well and performance-oriented vehicles, they always have a five-link rear suspension. So, this has an optional, right, an available five-link rear suspension, but this is where, if you get that, you're going to have a little more sporty performance with your Buick Regal Sportback. Then, of course, there's the engine. makes 250 horse. And if you get it with front-wheel drive, it makes 260 pound-feet of torque. If you get it with all-wheel drive, like we're going to do, it's going to be 295 pound-feet of torque. This is going to be a strong little engine. Remember, there are two transmissions, depending on what you get. If you get the all-wheel drive variant, like we're going to do, you have an 8-speed automatic transmission. If you do the front-wheel drive, you have a 9-speed automatic transmission over here on the right they're talking about these auto leveling lights we already learned about them a little bit it's an available feature uh auto leveling technology that helps you maintain continuous visibility when driving on uneven roads i guess it's a real big problem nonetheless it's there there's an option okay we got through all our features let's do the building price we know which one we're doing here it is it's already selected the essence starts at thirty two thousand six hundred and ninety five dollars like i said we got the heated seats we got the leather pointed front and rear seats heated driver and front passenger seats and then the eight-way power passenger seat with two-way power lumbar right let's keep going okay now let's select all-wheel drive right we can select all-wheel drive and we can only select the two liter turbo engine that 3.6 liter v6 engine is only available with i believe well, not our trim level. We can try it, but I highly doubt it. Uh, no, the Essence, only the GS all-wheel drive gets the 3.6 liter V6. The Essence uh, only can, can be had with a 2 liter uh, engine. So that's what we want. I just want to show you that just to be sure. Just to double check. Why not? As far as colors, I'm not a big fan of any of these colors, to be honest with you. So I'm going to just do that white frost tint coat. Now, if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, then you know that I'm real partial to the light colors, and especially when they're like the the real pearly, metallic-y twinkle in the in the in the sunlight whites. And so that's what this white frost tent coat will be like. And so it's yeah, it's a thousand dollar, almost eleven hundred dollar option. But I don't care. We're gonna get it. We're also gonna do the black leather interior. Let's see what that looks like. And there's our black leather interior. Looks to be a no cost op. Well, it's bundled into the package. Right and into this trim level, the Essence all-wheel drive 2019 Buick Regal Sportback all-wheel drive Essence. Right, looking pretty good. We got the diamond white, or it's not the white frost tint coat or tri coat, sorry, and then the black leather interior. Okay, there are a few packages. There's a sights and sounds package that gives us the infotainment system with navigation and the eight-inch diagonal touchscreen and the Bose. That sounds good. We'll probably get that. And then your driver confidence package. You've got a whole bunch of safety tech in here. And then that was your confidence package two. Your confidence package one gives you heated driver side auto dimming power outside mirrors, uh, a memory package, the lumbar front seats and all that, the weather protection package, a summer package, and there's an interior protection package. All right, I'm going to look these over and select which one, and then I'll, I'll tell you which one I picked and why. Okay, it's worth noting, I was in the middle of selecting the, um, 
which package was this? This is the driver confidence package too. And it's worth noting all the stuff that we get, right? You get all that safe, you get all the safety stuff like rear cross traffic alert, lane change, lane keep. You get the LED headlights and everything. I mean, it's $2,600, but they give you the whole thing. You also get the wireless charging, adaptive cruise control, which I don't even use, but it's there. Also, the driver confidence package one is also bundled into this. And so, yeah, this is a really good package. It was worth stopping to say, hey, we got to get that. Uh, the weather protection package. Now, this gives us what? This gives us this gives us the cargo area liner, first and second row, all weather floor liners, and also the premium carpeted floors uh, uh, mats. So this gives us the whole complete package, I think, for $415. Um, yeah, we want that. And then, you know, this is the summer winter package. Seems to be kind of the same thing, but not quite. They get real confusing on these packages they do. And then there's an interior protection package that we don't need. I think we got the big one that we wanted for 415 that has the rubber mats and the carpet mats and the rubber cargo tray. All right, let's move on to exterior. Okay, so we don't need an engine block heater for this car. I like to do the cheap insurance wheel locks. Do we want a power moonroof? I'm not really a big fan of the moonroof. I could actually live without the moonroof, and I don't think for resale purposes it's going to make that big of a difference. So I'm going to say, no, we're going to keep the $1,000 in our pocket and not get a moonroof. Okay, now we're on to the interior. We already went through the exterior. There was nothing to really do over there. Everything else is really checked. We've got the Bose. We've got the high-definition radio, the wireless charging. We've got all the good stuff. Do we want these illuminated door sill plates? Are they going to show the picture? Yeah. We want those for 400 bucks. I like that stuff. Uh, the short, the sport pedal kit. Yep, we want the sport pedals as well. Buck 75. I don't think we need the uh, tablet holder or anything like that. Uh, we've got all the safety stuff already there, and I don't think we need any first aid kits. So let's go take a look at accessories, and I'm pretty sure we won't need anything over there either. Okay, so Buick is General Motors, and General Motors. No matter whether it's Cadillac, Chevrolet, or Buick, they normally throw out things like, you know, do you want to buy some headphones for $129, right, at the end here. What I mean is this stuff isn't specific to the Buick Regal Sportback or any particular vehicle. And because of that, we don't spend any time talking about the little accessories that we can, that we can add to our vehicle because you can go to the parts department at Buick any time and pick up any of these um, accessories, most any of them, I would assume. All right, so that said, let's move on to the summary. Okay, so life started uh, for this vehicle at $33,870, and, well, we uh, we added about what? We added that paint cost us $1,000, well, almost $1,100. Our packages cost us just over $4,000. And we just did just under $650 on options to come to a total price of $36,815. Very nice vehicle. I really like Buick products. I also printed off this build summary. So if you like the way that I built and priced this 2019 Buick Regal Sportback all-wheel drive essence, you can download the build summary in the description below. Other than that, we're all done here. We've built and priced and learned all about our 2019 uh, Regal Sportback essence. Nice vehicle. I love the Buick product. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the very next video.